All right, Svan, everybody. Woo! Breaking news. Florida man kicks alligator that steals his pizza. Politicians say something stupid. Or a bear commits 21 home invasions near Lake Tahoe. That last one is true, by the way. News and social media are a great, great way to stay up, date, up to date. Sorry. You should be able to believe them, understand them. But a human condition lies on top of all media sources in bias. Media bias and bias is a prejudgment in media that is meant to sway an opinion in favor of one side. Why should you care? Ed Fontes, a media company that actually specializes in measuring bias in companies, has gone through over 2,700 of our news media sources in the US and 54,000 of our articles to notice they all have shown media bias. Presumed media bias has also near bipartisan support among liberals and conservatives. 69% in the dark blue is liberals who agree with media bias towards their party. Dark red is conservatives who agree with media bias towards their party, which is 91%. What will we be talking about today? The history of media bias. Then, two ways to locate bias in media. Finally, how to identify bias that you may be more susceptible to. History of media bias. World War I to current. World War I propaganda. I'm serious. You might not be able to believe this, but propaganda is actually a type of bias. Media bias has always had the same plan, to sway beliefs. In the book Propaganda of World War I, the author explains, the communization of war necessitated the mobilization of the human mind. This can easily be simplified to, with the war we needed to figure out how to locate and get the public on our side. Here's a little bit of World War I propaganda. We've all seen this one before. And here's a little bit one talked about buying bonds. Next one, the 1960s space race, non-American propaganda. The race to a giant rock in the sky, the moon. Between some little known country called the USA, we should all probably know that one, against some slightly larger country called the USSR, which is actually current day Russia. The USSR was a communist country. This ticks the US off. That means we gotta beat them. The US actually did beat the USSR, to the moon, which was a major win against communism. Here's a little bit of actual Russian propaganda towards us, or the USSR. This actually says Slava, which means glory, is the closest way to it. And then all the C's means USSR. Current day media bias. This is not a new concept, but this is not an old concept either. In a study published by PNAS, per the Stanford Media Analyzer, February 8th, 2022, the most biased time for our news outlets was during the Trump presidency. We could actually notice CNN had become slightly more liberal, and Fox News has become slightly more conservative. We can see on our graph here, right here is CNN, the red one is Fox News. 2020 was the Trump presidency, or during the end of Trump presidency. Locating media bias, that graph means nothing. Two methods of finding the news if you the news you're reading is biased. The three T's method. Read the title, the text, and the thumbnail. The three things you can definitely look at to find a bias. How to use this method. We're gonna get some examples here, all right? Congress people are way too old. As you can see in my thumbnail here, I made this one, by the way, this isn't real. There's an old person on their deathbed here, dying. Then Congress people are way too old. The thing you have to look out for in a thumbnail is any picture that's trying to slander somebody or make them look stupid, that's a great example, just like this, and then overly use of adjectives inside of a title, such as way too old. <laughs> Next we have Trump is forced to play by the rules in court and doesn't like it. This was actually October 26, 2023. As we can see here in our thumbnail of the video, they're kind of trying to make him look a little goofy there. And then Trump is forced to play by the rules in court and doesn't like it. Here's another form of possible bias here, doesn't like it. It's an assumption. You want to be looking out for an assumption as well. The second method to be able to find media bias is the use of a media bias analyzer. Ad Fontes Media, I've already referenced them before, they're a great way to be able to look at media bias through the eyes of 50 different people as of October 13th, 2023. Stanford TV News Analyzer. This is actually a program written by Stanford to read news 24-7 and find out which 
words are the hottest, which are the key words being used by our media. Here is actually the, um, sorry, this is the Ed Fontes graph here. You can actually see, I'll point out two that we all know, CNN, Fox News. Right side, conservative, left side, liberal. Identifying bias that you may be more susceptible to. Bias is completely natural and even human. So we all have biases. You can't tell me we don't. I'm going to prove it right now. Understanding your own biases. We've all been there at the Thanksgiving table with your uncle who's talking politics. They think they know everything. But let's put ourselves in a situation to question our bias towards our uncle. Let's assume your uncle is from a cannibalistic tribe in the Congo. We all have our biases towards the idea of cannibalism. But he also has his bias of the ideas of cannibalism. Maybe cannibalism makes his crops grow bigger. We don't know. So we have to be able to understand our biases as well as others. Harvard's solution to bias from the 2015 Harvard Business Review. By understanding which biases trip us up and using certain tricks and tools to outsmart them, we can broaden our thinking and make better choices. How is bias natural? In the same way some of us perceive our colors different, such as if you're colorblind, if I told you to look at red, you'd be seeing something different. We all have our own biases and personal thoughts, as well as implicit biases, which means unconscious biases towards groups and issues. For this one, I would like another example. If I told everyone in the class to think of a spoon, you could be thinking of a plastic spoon, a wooden spoon, and a metal spoon. Say I was thinking of a wooden one, someone else was thinking of a metal one. That's the difference in our point of view and our own biases. What have we learned today? What is media bias in the history of it? How to identify media bias and how to identify bias that we are more susceptible to. Use due diligence with your media consumption. As of the recent war controversy, a lot of news sources or people may try to sway your views. Try to keep an open mind and find the biases within other people's words before figuring out your own opinion. I work so